Hi folks, uh, here's Marcus again from Montex Steins and Clarks in Sankor in a lovely Rhine Valley and today I would like to make a special video for you, a buying guide about a battery or so-called quartz cuckoo clock. Uh, we did one already for mechanical cuckoo clocks. We also put you in uh, the link up here or here. We'll, we'll see later, um, but today it's all about the batteries. So just come a little closer and then I take you into all the information. Um, the battery operated clocks of course work with batteries, so let's start with the Cuckoo first. Uh, one of the most important things is that you will not have any Cuckoo sound on the half hour. The battery operated clocks only make the sound on the full hour. So here you have the cuckoo sound, uh, like the cuckoo actually sounds in the natural woods with a little echo, a waterfall in the background. Um, they're all on a little microchip, so all battery operated clocks actually have the same sound. This one here, for example, also plays music. Um, then here the train goes around as well. So this actually then, of course, is a quartz movement clock. Um, when the clock plays music, they also have 12 different tunes, um, just to name a few very well known like the Happy Runner, Edelweiss and many more. Uh, like I said, in total it would be 12, but I don't want to go into that uh, too far now. Um, just come a little closer again, then I make that clock work one more time and show you some special things about the cuckoo. On the quads, um, the cuckoo actually like slides out and then with the cuckoo call, he spreads his wings as well as he opens his mouth. Um, the cuckoo is actually the same also on all um, quartz battery clocks. The doors could be a little different. So here the doors actually would be plastic and they spread open. But we also do have some clocks uh, like this one up here for example, uh, which then has a wooden door. Yeah? Also you will find some um, battery operated clocks with music that have dancers which also then go around. I will show you this one here as well. So we have no sound at the half and then you have the cuckoo sound and then the dancers go together with the water wheel and the music once the cuckoo is finished. Huh? There we have the wood chopper. And then of course a lot of people wonder how do I figure out if the battery operated clock is made in Germany. Here for example you can see that very nicely. It's written down right up here on the front where all the numbers are for the time made in Germany. Most of the clocks has it as well but I show you also um, on the other ones a little trick where you also can figure that out as well. Um, another important thing is on the battery clocks that they all have like a little control panel on the side um, where you can adjust the clock. Um, we go to this one here, um, here on the side, you see that little brown control panel. Um, first of all, you can let the clock know if you like to have the music play or not, so you can turn the music on or off. You're also able to adjust the volume, and then you also see a little white dot over there, which is actually a light sensor. So if the sensor is not affected with light, the cuckoo goes to sleep and you will have no cuckoo sound. Yeah, and of course also no music, then the clock is like turned off, but the time still will be running, so you do not have to reset it, which is quite a convenient function. Um, then also um, another important thing on the battery operator ones, because it's of course battery operated, the weights are just for decoration. They have no function. Yeah? Um, so here, like on this one, they out of plastic. Um, like I said, it's just for decoration. You can hang the chains however you like. Uh, this is also different. You can get on some of them either out of plastic, but then on the higher quality ones, they also make some out of wood, but also here the weights again, they are only for decoration, they have no function. Then from the outside of the clock, um, it's pretty similar to the mechanism clocks. Um, the more 
Where it goes into the clock, the higher the detail is, the higher the pricing will get. Yeah? So we look again at the trees, at the figurines, at the moving parts. So this is very similar. Um, we also do have very, very high quality battery operated ones. It's just a different inside. Um, I just want to go into that a little bit because I also have the other uh, video where you can take a look about all that information. Um, but let's go to this one over here. Um, we actually have the Heidi and Peter clock with the grandpa. So here, for example, we see those are all uh, plastic figurines. And then just for you to compare, this one here, for example, would be a wooden figurine. Um, so of course, this is a lot more expensive compared to the plastic ones. So this is also a thing which I highly recommend uh, to be very cautious about when you buy on any websites or in Pacific online to be careful because on the picture it's very difficult to see if it's a wooden part or plastic part of course it doesn't hurt the inside from the clock but just from the optics and this is also where you can make a lot of difference in the pricing as well um, another thing what I like to show you is actually the backside I just turn, hang this clock off here for you and then we take a look in here um, you just can open that like the mechanism clock as well. Um, this up here is to hang up the clock and this here is just for the doors to open up. So this here is the inside from the quartz uh, clocks. Uh, you see the batteries, those are C batteries. Yeah, C batteries are pretty common all over the world so that's no problem to get them at all. And then um, we talked about the made in Germany before. So over here you see Engsler Germany, uh, which is one of the top brands. We have Engsler and the company Trankler that we work together very close as well. Um, they both have the factories in the Black Forest. I've been there several times, uh, actually almost every year. Um, so those are quality from the Black Forest. And this is also another thing how you can figure out where the clock is made. Yeah? So this year, of course, then is a German made clock. And um, also with a quartz cuckoo clock, we do have to say, um, it's actually pretty easy later on to replace the inside yeah, because this quartz movement here uh, is like a spare part and as long as you don't have like two left hands you actually uh, should be able to replace it yourself in a couple of years if the electronic is not functioning anymore. Uh, this is a very difficult part on a mechanical clock. Um, where most of the people of course are not able to repair anything by themselves but also a mechanical clock does have a very long lifetime so much for the battery operated ones just let me hang that back up and then i'll be right with you again so I showed you um, the figurines, so here then we also have the hand shingle roof, we have the pendulum which are constantly moving. This is also a way um, how you can tell if the battery is still good or not. If the pendulum stops or the cuckoo bird is not able to come out anymore, it's definitely time to change the batteries. Yeah? Uh, then you know it's, um, it's time that the battery goes dead. Uh, here, for example, then we have some higher quality battery clocks where everything is uh, made out of wood. Um, for example, up here we have Heidi uh, and Peter again with a grandpa. He's making the cheats. Here we have our wonderful uh, kissing clock, uh, which actually slides over them on the bench. It's also all completely made out of wood. And also up there then we have the wooden dancers going around them with the music. And then I have one more thing, what I like to show you as well. Um, right up here, you can see on the dials. This one here, for example, is a wooden dial with wooden numbers. And here you have a dial which is then printed on. Yeah. So this, of course, is also a big price difference if you have a dial like this or a printed one. Yeah. Just to give you this as another hint, which I just uh, thought about and um, yeah so far I pretty much think we have it all set yeah um, if you have any more questions or if I forgot anything feel free to write them in the comments below I'm very happy when you give us a like and uh, stay tuned on our channel 
looking forward to seeing you maybe around the store or when you contact me. Thanks a lot for your attention. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.